This is World War One Weapons, featuring Mallory Ellis and Morgan Ann Go. Mallory, do you all learn about World War One Weapons? No, that's boring. I can prove you wrong. Let's go to Legoland. One of the examples is trench warfare. This was a very deadly technique. There were corpses in the trenches, and rats would gnaw away at them as they lay there. Also, when you got an order, you had to run over the other side, but mostly you'd be killed before you got to the other side to attack. And there were bombs, which took years to plant. There were small bombs, and big bombs. Boom! Mallory! <laughs> Another type of weapons there were were bombs. Did you know that, Morgan? There were little bombs, like right here, and big bombs, like right here. Another World War I weapon was the airplane. It was used to spy and drop bombs from above. A fault with the airplane was that in dogfights, it would normally end up hitting its own propeller and crashing. So, what do you think of this adventure so far? I think that it's a lot less boring than I thought it would be, but it's still not as exciting. Exciting as it should be. I say, you can't find something interesting, it should be my turn. Okay. Another weapon from World War I was the tank. Although it looks tough and mighty, it only went a few miles per hour on good days. Other days, from cold weather, it wouldn't start at all. The first tank used in World War I was called the Little Willy. Its top speed was two to three miles per hour. However, tanks did not have actual wheels. They had these little grippy things on the bottom. Treads! That move! The average tank only went under five miles per hour. The next World War I weapon was called the Zeppelin, also known as the Blimp, and it was mainly used by Germany. It was used to watch passing troops from above, but it had one flaw. It was easily shot down. <laughs> they also used animals in the war, including pigeons and dogs. Dogs were used to sometimes send messages or be guards. Pigeons were also used to send messages. Dogs were used because they were very fast and also very loving creatures. See? The dogs could run faster than the people and that's why they were used. They were also used on the battlefield for medical purposes. They would distribute medical items to the dead and dying on the battlefield in hopes that they could help themselves. And, if a soldier was dying and had no hope of living, they would be there to comfort them. Yay. Come here, you stupid dog. <laughs> Lily? 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 Ugh. <sighs> On that happy note, I'd like to talk about poisonous gases. Poisonous gases? You mean like what happens when I go to go to the bathroom and I know my brother's already been in there and he hasn't used the fan? No, they're a little different. It's like toxic things that blister your skin and kill the person. Sometimes that happens to me. <laughs> I don't know, Morgan. What would happen if there was a breeze? Look out! She's gonna blow! Not that kind of breeze, I mean wind. Well, the wind could end up pushing the poisonous gases back on the people who threw it, so they would end up dying. Another weapon in World War I was the torpedo. 
It blew up passing by ships or other submarines. Another technology used in World War I was the submarines. Submarines were used for underwater blockades and discreet underwater attacks. There was also machine guns in World War I. Machine guns were very useful because you could fire a huge number of bullets in rapid succession. You didn't have to keep taking out the bullets and putting in new ones. You could just Pull the trigger once and hold it, and it would keep shooting until you were out of ammunition. This compelling video explores the real-life events that inspired the movie with authentic combat footage. Another World War I weapon was guns. There were many different types of guns used, including, but not limited to, rifles and shotguns. There was also the sidearm pistol. These guns were the best close-range weapon possible in the this war. war. So, Morgan, what did you think of this whole video? I thought it was quite adventurous. Morgan? 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 <laughs> what? 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 <laughs> what did you think of the video? Oh, boy! section of this video. Congrats for making it this far and enjoy. So Morgan, what did you think of this whole video? I thought it was quite adventurous. <laughs> throw what? a pillow! You're supposed to throw a pillow! Ready, ready? <laughs> and then there's Morgan. Morgan, I don't think we're in Legoland anymore. So, Morgan, what did you think of this video? I thought it was pretty adventurous. Adve ha Hello. What <laughs> 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 once was a tank is now a hand Montana tour bus. Different types of guns used. <laughs> Don't use this. <laughs> Did you feel All right. that? Yeah, dogs are fast. Come on, Come on Lily, show them how fast you are. Come on, Lily. Come on. Show them how fast you are. One of the examples was trench warfare. There were dead people throughout the trenches. There were rats attacking them. Mm -hmm. They're not hot enough. And there were bombs! Sorry. Big bombs. Another World War I weapon was the airplane. They were used to spy and drop bombs. <laughs> Examples was trench warfare. They were too squishy. <laughs> they were too squishy. Did you film that? 